Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all know that the Paris Air Show 2023 is going on and HL is also participating in it with India's indigenous fighter jet LCA Tejas. The infographics displayed by HL and captured by Vayu Aerospace is what you can see in front of your screen. The interesting infographic reveals the future weapons of LC Tejas which is quite interesting and regarding the same we are going to discuss in detail in today's video. As per HL's infographics, LC Tejas will be able to carry 5 Astra Mark III, 5 Tara, 6 NASM MR, 4 Rudram I, 4 Rudram II, 2 Brahmos NG and 2 Rudram III missiles. The integration of Astra Mark 1 having a range of 110 km is already in progress with LCA Tejas Mark 1A. The Astra Mark 2 integration having a range of more than 160 km and trials from Su-30 MKI is also in progress. There are no updates on integration of Astra Mark 2 from LCA Tejas. The only recent update we had is from October 2022 where a video was shared by Indian Air Force. In the video, we can see Astra Mark II missiles launched from Su-30 MKI. The Astra Mark I and Mark II is listed under the LCA Tejas weapons list and Astra Mark III has been listed under the future weapons category. It is the only missile that uses SFDR or solid fuel ducted ramjet technology and has range of 350 km. The test of missile was conducted twice in the year 2022. Its full-fledged development is expected this year. Astra 1, Astra 2 and Astra 3 missiles will have a common ejector launcher called Astra Launcher which was also tested along with Astra 2 missile as per the images released by Indian Air Force. Talking about Tara, Tara is an advanced precision strike weapon meant for ground targets being developed by DRDO. It resembles Israel's Spice 1000 bombs in terms of structure, design and function. Tara will be available in 250kg, 450kg and 500kg category. It will have speed between 640 to 1200km per hour. It will use GPS INS based navigation for mid-course guidance and laser homing for terminal guidance. With just GPS guidance, the missile can achieve the circular error probability of less than 30 meter and with SAL seeker in terminal phase, it can achieve accuracy of less than 3 meters. The two missiles that is going to enable LCA Tejas to even perform the anti-ship missions are NASM-MR and BrahmosNG. DRDO has tested the NASM-SR or Naval Anti-Ship Missile Short Range Missile on 18th May 2022 from Indian Navy's Sea King helicopter. The missile is having maximum range of 55 km. DIDO has also planned to develop its future version which are NASM MR Medium Range and LR Long Range. Talking about Brahmos NG, it will be a lighter version of Brahmos Air Launch Cruise Missile its trial is expected in the year 2024. The missile will weigh 1330 kilograms and performance in terms of range to be around 300 kilometers at a speed of Mach 3.5 and launchable from any Indian Air Force aircraft. LC Tejas will be able to carry six NSMMR or true BrahMos NG and this is a serious anti-ship capability for light combat aircraft. Tejas will also be able to carry 4 Rudram 1 or 4 Rudram 2 or 2 Rudram 3 missile. NGARM or Rudram 1 is India's first indigenously developed anti radiation missile that has a speed of Mach 2 and can be launched from an altitude of 500 meters to 15 km with a maximum operational range of 200 km. The missile weighs around 600 kg with a warhead of 60 kg. It uses pre-fragmented warhead with optical proximity fuse 
and is powered by a dual pulsed solid rocket motor. Talking about Rudram 2, it is a hypersonic aero ballistic air to ground missile under development by DRDO. The missile will have solid rocket motor for propulsion with a range of 50 to 300 kilometers. The missile will have peak speed of 5.5 Mach that is hypersonic. Rudram 3 is going to be two stage missile with both day and night capabilities. It will have supersonic speed throughout its flight duration and hypersonic speed at terminal stage. The missile will weigh close to 600 to 700 kg with a warhead of 200 kg and range of 550 km. The missile will follow quasi ballistic trajectory and hit target with hypersonic Mach numbers. These missiles are not only going to be integrated with LCA Tejas Mark 1, 1A or Mark 2 but also with upcoming fighter jets of Indian Air Force such as AMCA and TBF. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.